the Inter DHC back again. I just want to give a, a, a quick, brief explanation of, of what's going on here and, and show in the simplest way that that this does work. So uh, here's my here's my uh, fuel tank. I want to show that there's nothing in it. Okay, might want to make sure it goes down in there. Nothing in there. Okay. Here's my funnel. All right. Put that in there. Take this here. Put this on, nothing in this, you know. Nothing in there. Put the bottom onto it. Like so. Tighten it up. Um, I, I have found that the it, this uh, bubbler has to be airtight. It just definitely has to be airtight. But otherwise, uh, after about an hour or so, it heats up and fittings and things start leaking. So the trick is uh, to keep everything airtight. Um, let me take a little walk around and show you everything. Here's our our exhaust coming through and out and then going down into the bubbler. Here's our intake. This is where the carburetor used to be. Now you can see there's nothing there. It goes right into the uh, motor. Um, so our vapors are coming up through this bubbler here, through, and then in, like that. Um, here's our air inlet. Um, Spark plug, nothing too fancy. Um, so all we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna fill it up here. This is some coffee, um, just regular old coffee. I'm gonna take a look at how much is in there, and I'll show it. You know, I'm obviously wouldn't go drinking uh, gasoline or kerosene or anything. Put that in there. A little coffee, okay. Um, I don't drink beer, so I'm going to have my uh, assistant here show you that this beer is uh, fresh. Crack that open. Ah, oh, yeah. Fresh beer. Going right in there. I got to save some for me. Alright, alright. How about doing a little of the gas? And, uh, like I said, you ask any mechanic. Uh, you you put some gasoline uh, with beer and coffee in, your motor's not going to run. Now, if you take a look down here, you can see, uh, you know, it's all separated. The gas is on top, the coffee and beer on the bottom. And uh, here you go. All right, take this out. Just try and keep it on there so they see that, you know, we're not fooling them. Tighten that up. Like I said, you want it to be definitely airtight in, in this chamber. It makes a huge difference. Now, roughly, that's definitely more than 50-50. We got more coffee and beer than we have gas in there. So, um, it's pretty obvious that if this does run, we got something going on there. Unless we're Steven Spielberg. Um, just keep it on there. Just keep it on there. Oh. The right bit for that? Yes, yes. I should change it. Um, you give it a little spritz to start and flow. Yeah, because I did it with the spark plug with that. I thought. No, you right. didn't. I didn't. Alright. Give it a little spritz of that in there. Make sure everything's. Uh, the bubbler I think. Right, 
this off a little, baby. I can feel vapors coming. Got to heat up a little more. Throwing that moist. Smells like coffee. Yeah, it's THC, we're out. 